Oh, a quick update on the garden here. It's been really hot these past few weeks, but um, I'm beating the heat with this shade cloth. The plants are really loving it. Now here's an update on how my new Saracenia meerkat mob is doing. I just love the look on those huge pictures right there. Let's get a look inside. It's funny because the traps with the bigger pictures don't seem to catch a lot of insects, but the ones with the little mini pictures, like this Dana's Delight, catch a ton of little insects in there. We got a little fly here wandering in dangerous territory. An update on my veggie garden. The veggies are doing okay, but it's been really hot for them. So this shade cloth has really been coming in handy. The kale is almost ready to be harvested for its seeds. When the seeds get all brown, I'm going to cut them off and then just shake them out. But something weird just happened. I was over there rummaging in the garden and I don't know if you could see them. There's one. A bunch of aphids came off. Probably from the, the kale over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray all these plants with the power hose to get them all off. <sighs> Nasty. But my Venus fly traps are looking very good. Right here we have B-52, one of the larger cultivars. I love the way it's getting with the red. But something weird happened. I don't know what it caught, but... Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think it caught, but... I don't know if that's a tail or something. I feel like it might have caught a little lizard, but I'm not sure. And then here's old Dianaea muscipula albino. When the pictures turn, turn dark, it's usually because they've eaten already. Like this one caught a big ol' fly. Update on the purpurea. Saracenia purpurea. It's looking really nice. When I got it, it was really green, but now it's got all sorts of red veins to it. This is one of my favorites. And then Ring of Fire's gotten a little more green because of the shade cloth, but it's still doing nicely. And then lastly, I wanted to mention, I always keep the, the trays filled with water, especially on these hot days. And they can take the heat as long as they don't dry out. And the greenhouse has been really hot too, so what I've done is the old shade cloth has been there and the grapevines grow over it to give it some shade. But I'll put in a little portable fan in here sometimes. What I like to do is I'll spray in everything with the hose on mist mode to give it a nice cooling effect. Let's see what we got here. This is Nepenthe Saint Gaia. Nice little one. And lastly, we got a lot of little bladderwort flowers growing in the tank. Alright, stay cool you guys.